Tom Brady is back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which makes him a fun target for fantasy football. So let's dive in to my three favorite options for them in 2022. At the top, I'm going to give Leonard Fournette a slight edge over Mike Evans. And that's due to the, the role that Fournette had both last year and this year in the preseason. Fournette was a fixture with the first team offense during their third preseason game, a continuation of a role he had down the stretch last year. From week four on, Fournette averaged 14 carries and 6.6 targets per game, allowing him to average 100 yards from scrimmage per game in that pretty long sample of 12 games. Fournette also got a lot of work in the red zone, which gave him big single game upside in addition to the floor he was granted via his role. So Fournette seems to be in a good spot here despite some offseason concerns, despite the beat up offensive line. I still think Leonard Fournette is the top option for fantasy on the team in 2022. Mike Evans, though, just behind Fournette at number two on this list. And it's not due to disliking Evans. It's because I like Fournette just that much. Evans brings a lot to the table. Chris Godwin may not be able to play the first couple weeks this year, and Evans got a lot of high leverage work last year, even when Godwin was healthy. In the games they played together last year, Evans had 31% of the team's targets, 16 plus yards downfield. And he also got a lot of work inside the red zone, and when it's coming from Tom Brady, you know those targets will be efficient. The reason Evans is below Fournette for me is because the overall target share for Evans in that time was 18%, so a bit lower than you'd expect for a wide receiver going around the 2-3 turn. So I still love Evans, but that is enough to push him down below Fournette for me. But when you put that in a Tom Brady-led offense, it'll still be worthy of a selection in the late second or early third. We'll go with Chris Godwin as the number three option. I think that's pretty definitive. Honestly, Godwin might be going a bit later than he should. Of course, we have the ACL tear, but Godwin, when he was healthy last year, had a tremendous role. He had 22% of the team's targets in the games he played alongside Mike Evans, a very good number. And the injury news on Godwin has been pretty good so far this offseason. He didn't begin the training camp on the PUP list. He cleared that uh, for the start of the regular season, too. So that means that Godwin, although he may not play week one, should play pretty early on. And once he gets back, that role should be a secure one for Godwin within this offense. We know that Tom Brady feels comfortable with Chris Godwin. He has shown that the past two years. That means we should feel comfortable with him, too. So Godwin, the wide receiver 24 in best ball drafts on FanDuel, might be a tiny bit lower than where he should be going. Should be a fun year for the Tampa Bay Bucks. Once again, we'll see how things play out in year number three with the Bucks and Tom Brady married together.